Okay, for number 16, it says, which equation in order pair represents the correct vertex form for j of x? x squared minus 12x plus 7. So again, another question here where I was a little puzzled because it's a difficult concept, um, vertex form and completing the square and all that fun stuff, um, but you really could have answered this without knowing that much about vertex form. What was the cheating way of answering this? Look at the four vertices that they write down. That's the right-hand portion where it says like 643. They're all different. So how is that helpful? Since they're all different, if I type in j of x into my calculator, even if I don't know the formula, the negative b over 2a, and we'll do it the legit way as well, but I just want to show you kind of how you can answer this without really doing that much work. If I type this into my calculator, and I'm going to look for the vertice, or the vertex, I should say, um, by just scanning up and down the table. I'm looking for where that symmetry occurs. And if I start scanning, I notice that at 6, I see negative 29 next to 6. And then around it, I see negative 28 and negative 28 on either side. And negative 25 and negative 25. So that tells me 6, negative 20, 29 is the vertex for j of x. And like I mentioned earlier, the only answer choice here with that vertex is choice 3. We didn't do any algebra. We didn't get even get into completing the square. We arrived at our correct answer basically just by using the graphing calculator. How would you do this? Um, I'll go through quickly. Completing the square, we would want to move the constant over. So I'm going to move the 7 over to the left. Now comes that part where we complete the square. So we need to add that magic number to either side to literally, like I said, complete the square. I'm going to split the 12x into two groups of negative 6. I'm kind of a think of a box method here. So far I have this. What's that missing right-hand component to make this a perfect square? Positive 36. It's always going to be half of b squared. Half of 12 is 6, squared is 36. So I'm going to add 36 on the right and 36 on the left. That's going to give me j of x plus 29 now. And on the right-hand side I could write x minus 6 squared. It's now a perfect trinomial, or just looking at my box, it's x minus 6 by x minus 6, which is simply x minus 6 squared. Now the last thing you would have to do is move that 29 over by subtracting it. You derive at a correct vertex form of that, which we also notice was the left-hand side of our correct answer that we found earlier. It's just a reminder, because there may be a written question on vertex form, be careful with completing the square. Remember to add that magic number, if you want to call it that, to both sides. Know the formula if you don't like to draw that little chart of b over 2 squared um, is that number that we add to both sides. Okay. Also, just knowing the basics, what a vertex is. A vertex is where we start to see symmetry in the graph or in the table of values. Um, could have helped you answer this right away.